Guys, a quick one we'll be talking about the axillary vein. And this is basically like the course of the axillary vein, okay? Where the axillary vein starts, where it ends, and all those stuff. Okay? So we'll be talking about the course of the axillary vein and the importance of the axillary vein. Let's go. Mm. Right here, you can see so many labelings but the boldest is the axillary vein okay and this is the vein that we are talking about so the axillary vein begins at the lower border of teres major and becomes a subclavian vein at the outer border of first rib now guys let me make um, a strong warning you know that when you are talking about arteries you know that arteries carry blood away from the heart so you'll be talking about from up downward okay when you are talking about veins, veins carry blood to the heart, so you'll be talking from down upward. Okay, so talking about this axillary vein now, we started talking downward. Okay, and this is where we said that it begins at the lower border of teres major. Okay, and continues up. And anything above the scapula, it is not the axillary vein again, it is a subclavian vein. Okay. It begins at the lower border of the teres major and becomes a subclavian vein at the outer border of the first rib. Okay, the axillary vein is a deep vein of the upper limb that is formed by the union of the brachial and the basilic vein. Okay, so um, this image will illustrate it better. You see the brachial vein, you see the basilic vein. Okay, how the two of them come together and join. Okay, when they join, they become the what? axillary vein okay an axillary vein once it is out of the region of the clavicle it becomes a what subclavian vein okay so I hope this illustration is very nice to you become begins at the lower border of teres major okay and ends under clavicle anything outside clavicle it is a subclavian vein okay so it starts at the lower border of the teres major and ascends medially, okay, through the axilla towards the first rib, okay, where it is continued as the subclavian vein, okay. The axillary vein lies anteromedial to the axillary artery and accompanies it into the ampid region, okay. So you can see that um, here the, art the artery is not shown, but if you come to this image, can you see that the vein is blue, the artery is red, okay? All right, this artery is the axillary artery, okay? So um, the axillary vein lies anteromedial to the axillary artery and accompanies it into the, uh, uh, the ampit region, okay? So tributaries of the axillary vein, okay? Tributaries of the axillary vein at the, at the subscapula, circumflex humeral. Let me see if I have them here. Yeah, subscapular vein. Yeah, humeral circumflex vein. All right. I felt I didn't pick the right image, but I picked the right image for this. So, um, tributaries of the axillary vein are the subscapular, circumflex humeral, lateral thoracic. Let me see if I have lateral thoracic. Uh, lateral thoracic. Lateral thoracic. I don't think I have lateral thoracic. And, uh, we have um, thoracoacromia, thoracodosal. I don't know if this is, no, nah, this is media, all right, okay. Yeah, thoracoacromia also is not here. So we have cephalic veins, okay. We have cephalic veins and most, um, okay, so uh, most of which corresponds to the branches of the axillary artery, okay. They go line in line with the branches of the axillary artery, okay. So basically, guys, uh, this is the course of the axillary vein, its important and the tributaries of the axillary vein. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture. Just a quick one, making upper limb simple, picking uh, each issue just by it and hitting um, things one after the other. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture. Be closing up and see you guys in the next one.